Welcome to all, in this video tutorial, I will teach you how to connect GNS3 topology with your Windows host machine for Network Automation Lab. A Network Automation Lab is valuable to test network automation skills, as well as create a lab environment in which to verify the automation tasks which we want to deploy in the production environment. The most commonly used network simulators for network automation are GNS3 and EVENG. GNS3 is one of the oldest, and EVENG is the new one, and both are the most popular network simulator. The main difference between these two compared to GNS3 is that EVENG is clientless. Which one to use, for a testing lab environment, the choice is yours. But even G required a powerful CPU and RAM. In this video series, I will use GNS3. To start a lab, I add a Cisco router in the workspace and then run the router. To connect GNS3 topology with your Windows host machine for the lab, I'm using a Microsoft Loopback adapter. Open the run window and type in the command, which you're seeing. Now watch out for the installation carefully. Welcome back, the installation has been completed, open your control panel, and head over to the network adopter for IP setting. Locate the newly created network adopter. Then change the adopter setting and add a static IP address, the IP address used in this example is only for this lab. You can use any IP for the lab and then also change for each lab. Now the most important step is that at this stage, you must restart your PC to apply the new setting and then go to the next. Add the cloud node. Configure the cloud as you see on the screen. Check the box and remove the unnecessary adopter and add the loopback adopter. Connect the cloud node with the router. Right click on the cloud and select change the symbol from the list to add a new icon.
Now our lab view is looking good. The next is now the configuration of the Cisco router in the same IP network as previously assigned to the network adopter. Let me adjust the font size. After that, I add the IP address to the router and then check ping for connection. The ping is OK and all is good. The last and most important step of this video is to change the setting of the firewall. I already changed the setting, so my GNS3 lab made the connection with the host PC. But in your case, the ping from the router towards the host will not work and the connection works only one way. Open Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security and enable the file and printer settings on the inbound rules. First I disable the rule and then check the ping. One is for IPv4 and the second one is for IPv6. As you are seeing the ping is not working. Ping from the host side is working well. So let's enable the firewall setting again and then check the connection. Ping from the router side is now working. I have installed Windows Subsystem version 1. So my WSL 
also works with GNS3. I have installed GNS3 and GNS3 VM on VMware. If you want to use WSL version 2, it will not work with VMware. Because these two virtualization tools are not compatible due to their natures with each other. That's the end, if you enjoy this tutorial, please like it, and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials.